Carry on my wayward son. There'll be peace when you are gone. Lay your weary head to rest. Don't you cry no. Man, it's cold out here in Florida. I might have to put some pants on. So, what's going on, everybody? I'm in my backyard chilling in my undies. My Grundy, Grundy, Grundies. Yep, yep. Anyway, here's Geo, our buddy Geo, who uses the talk box and says, Breaking the law, breaking the law. Wow, wow, wow. Breaking the law. Anyway, this is his uh, video from the other day. He was with us. And this is the Captain Molina. After I'm knocking on the window and the, the cops ignoring me, telling me that a, ca a captain has to bring you a complaint form. They don't have complaint forms ready made. But here on the left side of the wall, they have like a, a $10,000 monitor damn display displaying their picture on a, like a menu, a digital menu, and showing their picture and their poses and who they are and just s their own D all over the place. Anyway, I'm tapping on the window. I keep saying, can you hear me, sir? Next thing you know, this Captain Molina comes out and uh, she... It's like, we can all hear you. And then it goes from there. So here we go. I'm holding up. You're the one causing the issues. Look, I have other things that I could be doing. Trust me. Then why aren't you doing it? Oh, here we go. She has other things she could be doing. Trust me. Then why did you come out at all and bother us? We were just filming in the public parking lot that we pay for, and you guys surrounded us. If you had better things to do, you wouldn't have the manpower or the funding to surround camera people exercising their First Amendment right. Let's get that straight first and foremost. The whole hold up here is because they don't have complaint forms because the last thing they want to do is have complaint forms out and ready for anyone to grab and write down their complaints because I'm sure those have to get documented and it doesn't look good for them. So, of course, they don't want readily available complaint forms. Testing. Yes, is there any reason why we have to wait for a captain to give us complaint forms? Yeah, duty why can't waiting, this guy? You're not waiting for me. That's to what he said. Uh, the guy behind the glass here said, you're waiting for the captain to get your complaint forms. Again, why would we have a captain have to come out to hand us complaint forms? A captain. That's how important those complaint forms are to them to keep away from the public. That a captain has to get them. And they didn't even give us complaint forms. They gave us some uh, public or some... Uh, I don't know. It will, they were not complaint forms. He just said that on camera. This is awesome. We he just said that on camera. I know it does. This is what you guys feed off of. So that's great. So we feed on corruption. Members. We feed on corruption. That's right. There are some members. some members of the public coming in for services. So yeah. I'm. I'm Gio, are you filming her boobs on purpose? Because I'm all of a sudden I went into like a little trance there. That you, while you wait for your service, that you move out of the way and let them need to do it. We were never in the way, and right before this, uh, Captain Molina came out, another person came in, and, they, and the lady said, let's go outside so we can have some privacy. And I told the lady, ma'am, would you like us all to get out of the lobby so you can talk to the lady? And she said no. So we offered, again, another lie by Captain Molina. No, oh, not to mention, here's another thing you're going to see here when the, the, the delivery guy comes in. You're going to lower your voice or I'm going to ask you to leave because you're causing a disruption. I was here first. And I'm not going to continue to argue. I was here first. It's not an argument. It's a fact. Here, here, let me show you something, guys. So they got the bulletproof glass. They got all the proximity sensor doors. They're armed to the teeth. They have basically have a small army in this building. This delivery guy comes in or whoever comes in. And if you look there to the left, there's a giant wide open space. They could pull this guy in there, close the door for 10 seconds, get the delivery or whatever it is have all the privacy they need, but they're gonna. she's going to use the excuse that she can't do her business and that guy shouldn't speak because they have to take him outside into the sun rather than pull him right there into the left where there's an open lobby and plenty of space. There's at least a 20 by 20 space right there, wide open. Give us our complaint form so we can fill them out. What is the hold up? Your computer's not working? First of all, don't, please don't really... That. Don't say any more information. Let me have a deputy meet with you outside while you're not outside. on public. See, now she's, she's using the word there, and it'll be a violation of this guy's rights if, she, if he were to say something in public. Again, that space right next to you with a locking door and a proximity sensor and bulletproof glass is plenty of uh, space that the taxpayers pay for that you could utilize to con conclude this transaction without trying to blame it on other members of the public that aren't doing anything unlawful. Nice try, though, Melina. 
private, and I'm not going to violate anyone's rights. Take him in the back. That's a joke. And give it to her, Geo. Tell her. So instead of break, so you see, there's plenty of room for two giant men right there, but she couldn't bring that guy in there for ten seconds to complete a transaction because we were there. It's our fault. It's not their ineptitude and inability to conduct business in a proper way. Again, you know who should run police departments? Restaurant crews. If a restaurant crew ran a police department, you would see an efficient, law-abiding. Well, mostly law-abiding. They probably all be getting high in the back by the dumpster. But after that, we'd be a free society again. Uh, that's wow, crazy. look at that. It was so snappy. Because you all are in here. So, so I asked, I them, asked them if they want us to step out, and they said, no, we're going to go outside. You didn't ask me that. So here's well, you didn't ask me, so nothing matters other than what I hear, what I see, and the way I interpret the world and the law. We asked the all deputy. Right. Sweet. I Man, you just one lie after another, after another, after yeah, another lie. That's what you guys mean. Yeah, honestly, like, why do you why do you guys act this way? That's what we want to know. What's right. your can, can I get an official statement wrong with you as to why you guys act this way? Statement. Again, look at all that space in there. But we're the problem because they don't know how to use their brain, and they don't realize there's a hundred ways to do one single problem. Not only the way they feel like. Like I said, do you need the PAO's phone number? Huh? You said you were going to call. Where's, where's legal? Located? No, I didn't say I was calling for you. Actually, I said answer. I can give you their phone number. Where's legal located? Legal's located on our downtown. Say, uh, loaded. 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 Yeah, they were going to contact you. And you said, you said, yeah, go ahead. I roll. Everybody's address off the top of my head. Let me get it for you. Okay. So legal's address and the PAO's phone number. PIO? PAO, PIO. We call them both. Oh, okay, yeah. And then Open government investigations. Looks like he's about to play chicken fried from the Zach Brown. Yeah, you know, like my chicken fried. Cold beer on Friday night. Tech vest that fits just right. In a GoPro camera. Absolutely. I will be right back. Hmm? Larry. What's in your hand? Confidential statement forms. What's that? So there you All go. All right, guys. Welcome Whoa. back. To